In today's show, we're looking ahead to Sunday. Which players that you can add that might provide value in various categories and various formats of league? Bit of a different what to watch for. Michael Bolton. Thanks, Josh. It's Michael Bolton here, and it's time for another episode of the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Podcast. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, indeed. You are Locked On Fantasy Basketball, your daily fantasy basketball podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Hello and welcome to the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Podcast brought to you by Basketball Monster. My name is Josh Lloyd and I am the lead fantasy analyst at basketballmonster.com and at Yahoo Sports Australia. And you can find me on Twitter as always at redrock underscore b-ball and on Instagram at Locked On Fantasy Basketball. Today's episode is brought to you by Price Picks. Check out pricepicks.com and use the promo code NBA or go to your app store and download the app today. Price Picks is daily fantasy made easy. Thank you for making Locked On Fantasy Basketball your first listen every day. We are free and available on all platforms. This is the what to watch for for Sunday's games. But someone suggested this and I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to see what people think. And instead of me just going through each game and go, these are the players that I'm watching for, on a in a daily changes league, you're looking to stream players in on Sunday to win certain categories in a matchup or just to get some bulk volume in, in a points league. So what I thought I'd do is go through the major eight categories plus Yahoo points and ESPN points and tell you who the best players I think are are going to be to stream in for those particular categories. There's only four games on. It's the Jazz and the Cavs. It's the Wizards and the Raptors. The Hornets and the Hawks. And the Pelicans and the Rockets. Of course, the Hornets are going to be without Lamelo, Rogier. Um, they're going to be without Mason Plumley again, and Jalen McDaniel. So lots of opportunities there. We're also going to look at some injury statuses that we need to watch for. Um, uh, Kevin Porter Jr. is out for the Rockets as well. That's another one that's worth mentioning. But let's go in, and this is how I am going to do it. Again, give me feedback down in the YouTube comments, or you can tweet it at me as well. For Yahoo Points Leagues. These are some players who, all of these are rostered in under 50% of leagues that you can stream in to get value from on Sunday to helpfully, hopefully, win your league. The big sneeze, Precious Achua. Really good option here. Now, there's still no Ken Birch. There's no OG Ananobi, of course. So Achua's going to get a lot of minutes. He's going to be inefficient, but he's going to get opportunities. Ish Smith. You're going to hear me mention Ish Smith's name a million times today. He is likely going to be the starting point guard for the Hornets. He can be a really positive producer. Sometimes he can have some ishy, iffy, ishy, iffy field goal percentage, but Ish is going to be worth looking at. Kevin Herter. We know the injuries in Atlanta. Cody Martin should be back for the Hornets after missing a bunch of time. He's not on the injury report and everyone else is ill. So there is an opportunity for him to get to 30 minutes. Kevin Love is only 50% rostered in Yahoo League, so he's a great streamer. Herbalife Jones with the Pelicans. Really interested to see what he can do. Eric Gordon and Armani Brooks in Houston. Kevin Porter Jr. is out with that thigh issue. Of course, Jalen Green remains out, so these guys are going to have a lot. They're going to probably be starting together. And then old Basmati himself, Royce O'Neal. Basmati Royce. Basmati Royce. Basmati. Royce O'Neal. Um, yeah. Starter, 30 plus minutes, only four games on. Great value in streaming um, Royce. Now, in general, the list that I'm putting up here is the less, the less, the list that I prefer in terms of preference. I think Precious scores the most fantasy points tomorrow, followed by Ish and then Herder, blah, blah, blah. That, of course, is subject to change, and the difference between those guys might be a bee's dick. But that is how I have them um, pro uh, projected for tomorrow. That'll bring me now to look at ESPN points leagues. And some guys that we can add there. These guys, again, are all rostered in under 50% of leagues on ESPN. Kelly Oubre. Now, ESPN, of course, if you're playing on ESPN, I implore you to not do that anymore. The, for, the platform is terrible. The players are disengaged. And the numbers are often completely out of whack. So the fact that Kelly Oubre is rostered in so few leagues is ridiculous. Stream him. Daniel Gafford. What are you blokes doing? Stream him. Ish Smith. The wild thing, Jay Sean Tate, is 22% rostered on ESPN. Yeah, must roster. Precious Achua, the big sneeze. Kevin Herter, fan of pants. Cody Martin, Herb Jones, and Basmati himself, Royce O'Neal. Value in all those guys. That is the order of preference I have them. So go down that list, check out whether they are available in your league, and then add them for Sunday's action. 
over in um, old ESPN points leagues. But I've got to tell you about Price Picks. It's better than ESPN points leagues. I'll tell you that much. Price Picks is daily fantasy made easy. You are going to love it. It's the way daily fantasy should be. Really, it's you versus projections. They put up their over under projections. You look at it and go over under. Bang. That's it. How simple can it be? And it's not just the superstars they have. They've got more props than any other NBA DFS prop provider. It's the superstars. It's the bench blokes. You do points, rebounds, steals, assists, threes, um, fantasy points, whatever it is. Combine two to five of them in one lineup. Get them all right. Bang, 10 times your entry you can get up to. That's fantastic. And it doesn't just have to be basketball. You can do cross-sport entries as well. Chuck a football one in there. Chuck a hockey one in there. Mix them all together and see what you come up with. So when you go to sign up, use the promo code NBA and you can get 100% match deposit bonus up to 100 bucks. Entries are fast. They can be done in under 60 seconds and withdrawals are safe and easy. So head to pricepicks.com or download their app today. Use that code NBA. Price Picks is daily fantasy made easy. You know the, this consistent problem that we have. We watch our live sports in one spot. We've got our phone. We crank that up. We watch our highlights. We log in to watch other shows on another device. And then we've got to go borrow your best mate's girlfriend's mum's sister's auntie's driver's gardener. He's login for something else. Oh, it's a mess. Who wants to live like that? We're living in a society here. So I want to tell you about a great way to finally get all the entertainment you love in one place and a great way to get your TV together. It's called Direct TV Stream, and it brings all the sports, movies, and shows together in one place like never before. No more juggling remotes and no need to buy another device ever again. And the best part, there is no annual contract. So get rid of the clutter and the confusion and get your TV together with Direct TV Stream. You can learn more at directtv.com. That's directtv.com. Compatible device required and content varies by package. Let's go into the Category League package of today's show now. And we look at um, streaming blokes in if you want to win the points category. So when I say points streams, this is not for points leagues. I did Yahoo points. I did ESPN points. This is winning the points category in a category league. Eric Gordon and Armani Brooks. No Porter, obviously. Brooks is going to be an option there. Gordon's going to be an option. Ishmith. We're just going to mention Ishmith a lot. We're going to mention the big sneeze as well. Precious Achua quite a bit. The Italian cock, Danilo Gallinari. He's a really solid ad. Hands off my <laughs> cock! Cody Martin returning from illness. Herbalife Jones and Bill Hernan Gomez. Some value there. Now, Hernan Gomez, again, not a guy that I think is a must-roster 12-team 12, 12 league player, as I've mentioned a million times. But in a day like this with four games on where he can come in and play 20 minutes and have 13 points, that can be really, really valuable. Um, and I'm just seeing as I'm recording this that the Hawks have got a bunch of blokes who are listed as questionable. Kevin Hurd has just appeared, as has Trey Young on the injury report. So bear that in mind. That could really open up some value for a Lou Williams or a DeLon Wright. That is just broken as I am doing this. For the threes category, three pointers, for those of you who don't know what a three is. Armani Brooks, again, that name's going to be there a lot, the designer. Eric Gordon, Joe Ingles, the Italian cock, Dino Gallinari, Davis, Bertans. DJ Augustin, Rudy Gay, Timotei Lawawu Cabarro, who will probably get a start and could have actually a really important role if, say, Herder and Young are out. And Daniel House Jr., the apartment himself. Lots of um, value for three-pointers to stream in with a bunch of blokes I've got there on that list. For the rebounds category, it's the big sneeze. Again, Precious Achua. He needs a sound drop, I think. But this bike already has one. The world. Yes, you can stream in Hassan Whiteside for rebounds. Billy Hernan Gomez, Cody Martin, Herbalife Jones, Danilo Gallinari, Rudy Gay, Denny Avdia, who's been playing really well, and Ish Smith. Again, don't discount Ish Smith as a rebounds guy. Ish Smith can provide rebounds. He can do defensive stuff as well. He's just going to be a really, really solid stream uh, in general for, uh, for this day's worth of action. For assists, of course it's Ish Smith. But with Kevin Porter out, DJ Augustin is going to be an option for us. Jingle and Joe Ingles gets assists. Eric Gordon's going to handle the ball a lot in Houston. Cody Martin off the bench is going to do a lot for the Hornets. He might actually start. You never know. Dillon Wright and Lou Williams, really watch those two. If Trey and Herter are out, really watch those two. Herb Jones and then Harl Neto when we get down the list. Again, this is in order of preference, but you know, Lou and especially Dillon would shoot up this list if Trey Young does happen to be out. For the steals category, Herbalife Jones, Cody Martin, they can rack up two to three, even four steals. Ish Smith is in the list again. Armani Brooks, Sfima Hailuk, a 20-minute player for the Raptors. The big sneeze, Precious Achua. Rudy Gay, 
And Dillon Wright, again, if Young is out, Wright probably moves right to the top of this list. He's a big, big steals and assists player if he gets 30 minutes. So absolutely one for us to watch. For blocks, pretty straightforward. We're looking at Whiteside. We're looking at Achua. Then we go to Herb Jones. We go to the wiki Chris Boucher, who may not play much, but he's going to have two blocks in 13 minutes very easily. Denny Avdia. Ish Smith might block a shot. And this is where you get to. There's not many block options, but Ish is going to be worth it. Nick Richards. Rudy Gay. And KJ Martin, who's one I really do like as a block streamer, if they do give him 22 minutes. He could block two to three shots really, really easily in a situation like that. Before I tell you about the percentage ads, I'm going to tell you about Bilt Bar because the percentage of people who love Bilt Bar is 100. Christmas time is coming. You need that extra fuel to get through all of the nonsense that is shopping at a mall, getting presents. You could just actually, you could just order a box of Built Bars, someone's present, especially if it's someone who loves looking after their health and fitness and loves deliciousness. I'm one of those people. I at least like one of those things. You can figure out whether it's looking after my health or deliciousness. Up to you. Built Bar gives you so many great flavors, so many delicious flavored bars and products that it is just amazing. It's hard. I can't even keep track of all the flavors they've got. It is that good. If you're friends with Santa, and who isn't? Like, we all want to be friends with Santa, let's be honest. Why don't you tell Santa to throw a few Built Bars into your stocking? Santa's a big stocking stuffer, and Built Bars are the perfect thing to shove into your pantyhose. Pantyhose? No, stockings. That, that's a better word. Like some of those marshmallowy treats around the holidays? Well, they've got marshmallowy things. They've got Built Bar puffs. There's so much stuff with Built Bar. Again, I can't keep up. But don't dare mention your favorite flavor. No one wants black eyes around Christmas because people get passionate about these flavors. So head to Built.com, use our code LOCKED15, get yourself a box of Built Bar. Get yourself boxes of Built Bar, in fact. Built Bar is the best tasting protein bar ever. We're getting to the end of football season. We're getting close to the playoffs. College football season's wrapping up. The NBA is rolling on. There is only one place still to place your bets with more props and lines and action than anywhere else, and that is Bet Online. So head to the new updated desktop or use your mobile des- device and sign up today and get a 50% welcome bonus by using the code Locked On. From basketball to football, the NHL, boxing, UFC, and right to your favorite Vegas casino games. Don't wait and take advantage of all of the fantastic offers they have for the 2021 season. Bet Online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all of your favorite sports. Bet Online is where the game starts. Let's look at field goal percentage streamers. Now this is isn't always just about who shoots the highest field goal percentage because volume is important. I'm going to throw in Billy Hernan Gomez, Hassan Whiteside, KJ Martin, Nick Richards, and then you go down the bottom, Hal Neto and Thomas Sadoransky. Now, often, I couldn't find really anyone else who I think could actually be a positive. I think for anyone else that you can consider streaming, they're, they're going to be worse than not actually having someone in there. So just bear that in mind. If you're looking to win field goal percentage, these are probably the only players that I think might even have a positive impact on that category, which is wild to see. For free throw percentage, we're looking at Gallinari, one of the best ones out there. Augustin, Lou Williams, that could be a great one. Bertans, um, Mihailuk, Hal Neto, and Aaron Holiday. And last thing I want to look at, now I did this before, again, the Trey Young news came out. So throw Trey Young and Kevin Herter onto this list. But these players are all listed questionable heading into Sunday. Josh the Hitman Hart, so if he is out, then you're going to have Garrett Temple become a stream option. Cam Reddish, imagine he is out along with Bogdanovich, along with Hunter, along with Herder, along with Young. That's going to be a lot of Gallinari, a lot of Delon, a lot of Luau Cabro. So much going on there uh, in Atlanta. And then the Discman, Chetty Osman. He's worth. He's going to be worth a stream option if he happens to be out. But if he or if he, he plays, sorry, if he is out, it opens up deeper leagues for someone like a Lamar Stevens, perhaps Dean Wade already ruled out for the Cleveland Cavaliers. That'll do it for me today. Please, let me know what you thought of the different end-of-week format here for the What to Watch For show. Very, very interested to see what you think. Good luck with everything you do this week in your life. Have a nice meal with your fantasy team, whatever. Subscribe to this podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and on the Odyssey app. But if you're here on YouTube, give it a thumb up. Leave those comments, as I said, down below. Guys, we are done here. Thank you so much for listening, everyone. See ya.